Uyghur American Association and the Uyghur Human Rights Project and also my organization, the Campaign for Uyghurs, we all trying to raise awareness on the, uh, the mass atrocity and also try to keep the community together. It is difficult for the Uyghurs to leave China because uh, the, the region is um, controlled very tightly. It's difficult for Uyghur people to get passports. Passports are not just a given just to, by applying. The Chinese government monitors the family history and the, any connection with, with any kind of activism. When I came to United States, I witnessed the communist Chinese government suppressing the Chinese students massacre and killing the students who are peacefully demonstrating in the Tiananmen Square. That was a turning point actually for me to even get involved more against the, uh, the Chinese government's abuses. Uyghurs are being monitored 24 hours a day. For example, this is a Ramadan time. They are offering like snacks and the waters during the day. With the surveillance system, the government can find out who's fasting and who's not. And not just the ubiquitous cameras, but the uh, facial recognition software, iris scanning. They are even doing DNA collections forcefully and checkpoints uh, every couple hundred uh, yards. The entire population is being controlled. It's, it's not just the three million people in the camp are being tortured or suppressed. Also, people living outside being monitored and being controlled 24 hours a day. So China is using the technology to suppress people with human dignity, violating basic human rights.